Panther pulls a Wardo. He said, the Wardo. Arthur, you just miss your you just miss your father. He's at the auction house right now. Axie, I came here to speak with you regarding a certain matter. May I come in? Sure. Would stuff like this really be appropriate for the 10 year anniversary event? I'm telling you, a lot of the noble ladies absolutely adore the centerpieces you made. What? How did anyone anyone even see those? I stole a few from the house and used them to decorate the private viewing rooms at our auction house. You did what? Those are just cheap little ornaments I made in my free time. That's so embarrassing. Meanwhile, the art's little sister's like, mm, I'm bored. Why are you pouting? Are you mad? Brother didn't come shopping with Ellie, but I came here with you. I see now. I guess now that your brother is here, I'm not important to Ellie anymore. What? N no, Lilia is Lilia and brother is brother. You said that you love me the best. Now that your big brother is here, you can just throw me away. Oh, sh damn. Why did you hit the girl? Why are you giving Ellie such a hard time? Ow, mom. I was just teasing her because all Ellie has been thinking about these days is Arthur. Really? Because to your mother, it looks like Ellie isn't the only one thinking about Arthur. Could it be that my daughter has her first little crush? What are you even saying, mom? He's just a big weirdo. I thought you said kids my age couldn't be mages. Oh, that's why I'm still patiently waiting to awaken. But Arthur, Arthur's already a mage that's stronger than a lot of adults. It's not fair. I want to be a mage too and make you guys happy. Oh, damn. Poor girl. She's like, why am I trash? I also want to be useful. I don't want to be Sakura in season one of Naruto. I know it's hard not to, but not to, but you shouldn't compare yourself to Arthur, Lilia. I'm I'm sure you know from kids your age at school that Arthur is the one that's different. But but how did he get so strong? Because he's not from here. He's a king who's broken. That's why. Did you and Mr. Le Lewin train him? And if, and if you did, can you help me train too? Aside from the little sword training like Mr. Lewin did for Arthur, we didn't do anything. Damn, and she's really sad about this. Damn. Nothing? I get that he's very he's a very gifted child, but aren't we missing pieces of the story here? Uh, sorry about that. I don't mean to pry. It's nothing. I'm grateful that you guys care so much. To tell you the truth, Ray and I both know Arthur is hiding things from us. Then why don't you ask him about everything? Like, how did he get so strong while he was away? And how even before the bandit attack, he was so skilled with the sword? If I'm this curious, I'm sure you and Ray are both dying to know. Of course, but I trust that there's a good reason why he's not telling us everything. I figured him I figured giving him space and supporting him until he's comfortable enough to tell us and tell us himself is what it means to be a parent. You're right. Give your child some space. Don't be up on the ass going like, yo, what you doing? Why you lying to me? You hiding something from me, son? Oh, and there goes the villain again, I think. Maybe not the same guy, but it looks like him. Inform Lord Sebastian that the mana beast wasn't with them today. A mage from Zyrus Academy has been placed to guard them. So I wasn't able to trade them, trail them too, too extensively. However, the boy who is most likely the master of the Mana Beast will be attending the 10-year Halstea Auction House anniversary event. Oh shit, shit is about to go down, son. What sort of situation is this? My man is drinking the coffee with his pinky out like a true gentleman right now. And what sort of eight-year-old boy gives us such a strong presence that, that, I'd, that I'd be more nervous than when I, when, I was, when I was with the King of Sappin? Thank you for the tea. He's so different compared to when he's with his family. Is this his true demeanor? Uh, of course. Anyway, the reason for this sudden intrusion is because I'd like to ask for you to retrieve a few items for me. A protective cloak, preferably one with the hood, a decent sword for my size, and a mask capable of altering my voice. The cloak shouldn't be a problem, but with the mask, only an artificer that's a deviant sound mage would be able to pr properly make one. I can definitely try, but wait, I'm already buried in, a wor in, in work for anniversary event. Why am I so eager to please this boy? Cause he's a king! As for compensation, while I don't have money, I did think of a way to repay you for your help. It's fine, it's fine. Your father has been a huge help ever since he started working for me. Thanks to him and the training he's providing for all of your guards, thefts, thefts and fights in the auction house, house I've, have been the lowest it's ever been. Still, one of the things I wanted to do was to help my sister hasten her awakening with the method I, that I discovered recently. While I'm helping her, I can help Lilia as well. Oh, he knows she- okay. I know that neither you nor your wife are mages, but I believe it can help your daughter awaken as a mage and attend Zyrus Academy. Oh, shit! My man Arthur's coming in clutch, helping out the family and shit. All right, I see you. Even after all this time, I can only use it for a few seconds. Oh, <sighs> it's not enough. Again. Oh, he's training hard. All right, I see you, Art. Whether it's my past life or this life, I need strength to protect the people I love. The hell? What is going on? Where is he? What is this? 
Is that him when he was younger? A gun? This time, I'll get strength not to avenge, but to keep them safe. Oh, his ki his parents died when he was younger. Yo, he really is Batman. Arthur, what's this about you making Lily a mage? Even if it's a even as a harmless joke, it's a little insensitive to. If this is some kind of prank, Arthur, I think you went a bit too far. I would never joke about something like this. I proposed a deal to Mr. Hel Mr. Halstia, and he accepted. That's right. He said he'll show us once he got once you guys get back. So let's go to the living room. <laughs> He's picking her up like she's some pet. Good. Now I want you to breathe in the way I tell you. Mana is sensed best during slow and deep breaths that are in the that are in precise rhythmic patterns. Hopefully, this, this explanation will be easy for them to follow. The first step is to breathe in a special way. A, a special way? Any Ellie can breathe easy. This isn't just any breathing, Ellie. If you can do this, you'll be able to become strong like your big brother. Strong? Strong like brother! Hopefully, she's, she's, she'll, she'll be able to understand my instructions. Anyway, the breath taking goes like this. Take a deep breath through your nose until you can't breathe anymore. Jeez. Then once you can't breathe anymore, you open your mouth and breathe in just once more. After you let out your breath in small bursts about 15 times, great. Now do it again with your eyes closed until you see pretty lights floating around in the darkness. He's like, yes, they about to get they mana? Pretty lights, I see. Aw, oh, they gone. It's because you stopped the special breathing. I still can't see them. Is there something wrong with me? No, what's okay? Neither of your parents are mages, so I expected this. Honey, can you at least tell us what it is you're trying to do? I know you mean well, and I won't question your skills with magic, but teaching a child to awaken as a mage is unprecedented. It should happen naturally. Well, I'm going to help them do what I did to awaken at the age of three. And the only reason I think I can do this is because of my affinity with all the elements. I've worked out, I've worked it out in my head, but we'll know for sure after trying. Okay, let's see if this works as well as I theorized. Ellie, Lilia, but your bodies might feel a little hot but keep breathing the way I told you to. Ooh. I, I see them. So pretty. Oh shit, what's he about to do? Now with your thoughts, try gathering the white specks together. Gather? Those little lights are your friends and they need to be together to be happy. Can you do that for me, Ellie? Oh yeah, he's gathering them and then if he helps them do this, it might be like what happened with him when he blew up the house. What if he blew up their house? I think that's all I can do for today. So how is it? Will I Lilia be able to become a mage? It'll take a few years, but if I can do this with them for the first few months to get them on their feet, Lilia shouldn't have a problem becoming a mu- Ah. I'm sorry for doubting you. Thank you, thank you. Because of you, my baby will have so many opportunities that we weren't given because we weren't mages like mages, thank you. So mages really do just get so much more opportunities in this world. Ah, and they happy. And the father's mad hype. I spend every morning training and then helping my sister and Lilia get closer to awakening. And then he would do his thing. Yo, it's crazy how he's both sensei and student at the same time. This is beautiful. Even with my impatience to get stronger, I still made sure to spend time with everyone, knowing that I wouldn't have many more opportunities like this in the future. Two months later. Oh, wow. Two months already. You must be excited to see the twin horns today. It's been a while, right? I don't think I'm the only one excited to see them. Arthur's like, I'm so ready to go on this fucking adventure, son. Sylvia, I don't think you're small enough to keep riding on my soldier so shoulder. Wow, it got bit. Sylvia got big. Hi, every- Oh, thank God! Oh, yeah, they forgot that he- They didn't know that he was alive. So now that he's alive, they're probably super hyped. You- you had- you had it so hard for such a young boy. Angela, I can't breathe. Durden, you've got even bigger. I can say the same to you. Oh, shit, he talked. I thought the game plan was to put on a happy face for the kid. That's what's with all the tears. And is no one going to comment on the- on the black mana beast ha hanging behind- You can ignore this fool. We're so glad to see you all grown up and even more handsome. J Jasmine? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Arthur, Arthur. Damn, yeah, dumbass. Looks like we missed our timing. Mm-hmm. Are you sure you don't see, you don't need conjurers inside? We have Angela and another wind conjurer alternating detect detection barriers around the auction house and Durden manning the main entrances. Any more than that, people might suspect we're preparing for a war. I feel like you guys should be preparing for a war because that evil guy in the city, He's still there. I don't know if you guys know that. I really am grateful that your old party agreed to help out with security. Tell me about it. With them here, I was able to position some of the, some of the other guards aside the aside around the block. We'll engage any threats outside, so the guests will be able to, so guests ah, so the guests will be safe, and the auction house won't get destroyed. I know you're joking after my but after my experiences with the mages recently, I'm going I'm going to actually hold you to that promise. Speaking of which, your son actually mentioned he wanted a sword before he registers as an adventurer. Oh. Yeah, considering your infight your infighting style with your gauntlets, I didn't expect you to teach him sword fighting. Well, the only thing I did for him was get him a wooden starter sword. 
Aside from that, since he was four, he learned on his own. My man is just using his sword powers from when he was a kid. And now his dad is just like, I, I don't know how it happened, bro. He just got that good. I I'm sorry. Four years? Why am I even surprised? Honestly, he says he's self-taught, but the few times he we have sparred, there are times when he missed his pressure. Pressure? Like this sort of calculated confidence that he's fought battles for decades. Damn. Ray, Arthur hasn't even lived for one decade. Don't you think you're giving him a bit too much credit? Maybe you're right. But when we spar, there are times when he suddenly trips or messes up like he's not used to his own body. Yo! So they're really catching on to this shit. I think I know why. Y you do? Early puberty. No. Took you too long enough. How are you two grown men the last to get ready? Whoa, you all look great. Ayy, hey, in the suits, but also not afraid to have the smoke with them. I just feel sorry that we had everyone wear just black and white. We are the host for this event, so I didn't want to stand out over the guests, but I guess we didn't need to make Ray's family match the dress code. It's no problem at all. I'd be uncomfortable wearing bright, col bright colors anyway. Dressing up like this makes me realize that no matter what I wear right now, I'm just some cute kid. I just hope my growth spurt comes soon. He's like, I'm sick of just being this kid, bro. I heard that my daughter is progressing well. If she continues like this, she could be able to awaken in, in time to attend Zyrus at a normal age. Oh, that's dope. Thank you again. I'm just holding my end of the deal. I expect to see some great stuff at your auction house. Of course. Let's go. Why do I feel like something crazy is about to happen, son? Man, I can't believe you had to go through all of that after you fell down the cliff. All things considered, at least you were able to find a bond. That's something even seasoned adventurers and nobles are rarely able to have. Yeah, that's why she's special to me. Looks like we're here. So this is... Halcia Auction House, an event nobles and adventurers alike have been excited for. It will not only be a celebration, but also a chance to see and perhaps but buy priceless artifacts that have been kept locked away and guarded for this particular event. Wow, so many beast cores. And even what the and even a what the hell is that anyway? The exterior of this building is amazing, but the ins but the inside holds up just as well. Alright everyone, today's a big day. Let's get our heads together and make sure no mistakes are made. Team B, make sure the side make sure the side quarters are checked every half hour before circling back to your original route. Yes, sir. Yeah, yo, his dad really burled up. Like, look at him, son. It's good to see them like this, especially my father. A big change from how he usually is. Well, you, well, your father was a leader after all. I've grown since I took his place, but I still can't match up to him. Anyway, I'll be joining your father now. Catch you later. Let's go inside. Vincent and your father will join us a little later. Even having been a king and living amongst, amongst a royal family of Eleanor, Eleanor Kingdom, this is impressive. So Arthur, what do you think of our Halcia auction house? I think you're seriously downplaying the word house here. Well, I'm glad you like it. Wait till you, wait till you see the private viewing room at the top. Seeing how grand this place is, I'm excited to see what sort of items they're going to auction off today. Well, I'll be expecting some very special guests later on, but for now, make yourselves comfortable. Ellie, look, it's starting. It's way too nice right now, son. Whoa, so many people. Excuse me for the intrusion, but I'd like to inform you that the VIP guests have arrived and will be here soon. I understand. I don't like that that guy's there. I don't like that guy. He's the one who's gonna start crazy shit going down. May I present His Majesty, Blaine Glader, Her Majesty, Priscilla Glader, Prince Curtis Glader, and Princess Ka Kathleen Glader. I felt it then, the same as in Eleanor. I was in the presence of royalty. I didn't know we would share this space with guests, Vincent. Forgive me for being presumptuous, your majesty. I remembered you wanted to meet my family again the last time you were here. So I thought today would be a good time for that. You remember my wife, Tabitha, and my daughter, Lilia, your majesty? This is Alice Lewin, my close, my close friend's wife, and their children, Arthur and Eleanor Lewin. Your Majesty? Well, friends of Vincent may mean friends of mine as well. Now please stand. After all, we're here to congratulate the Hellsteers on the 10th anniversary of this wondrous place and to enjoy the event. I feel like he's gonna die in this chapter. Or soon. Yes, no need to remain so formal. Let us enjoy ourselves. I, for one, am pleased that it seems that it seems we'll, we'll at least have some company besides our guards. Meanwhile, Sylvie's tired. Oh my, what a cute mana beast. Looks reptilian based, but more intelligent. She just hashed several months ago, your majesty. Her name is Sylvie. Say hello to them, Sylvie. And this mana beast is your bond, young man? Yes, your majesty. How fortunate you are. Even infant beasts are not easy to tame, yet she seems very obedient. Well, we're able to communicate mentally, so it's more like a mutual agreement rather than obedience. What? You mean to say that you are under an equal co equals contract with this mana beast? Crap, did I say something unusual? Who the hell is this, son? I, I suppose she was the one who, in who initiated the contract. Let me take a closer look at your bond. Stop, this is neither the time nor place to, to study someone's pet. I need to remind you that you are, you are on duty, Sebastian. Yeah, I don't like him, son. I don't like this guy at all. My apologies, your majesty. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck was that about? Like, you wanna get rocked, bro? 
touch me over like like you some crazy ass nigga. Like I'll kill you. Skaters, D-class mana beast, domesticated as as draft beasts, used to pull carriages over long distances through is unsteady train with their strong claws. With a much greater endurance and strength than normal horses, skitters are valuable assets for anyone that's able to afford their services. Ladies and gentlemen, nobles and adventurers, may I say that it is the it is of the highest honor for me to be here tonight. I presume all of you esteemed guests have gathered here today for one reason and one reason only. To spend some fucking cash! For the chance to obtain one of the rare and valuable items in this auction. Yeah! Spend money! But before we begin, if everyone in the audience would kindly turn to face the south, please join me in welcoming a few exceedingly important figures who have blessed us with their presence. The very king and queen of Sapin. Next, but certainly not least, the man who has made this whole event possible. Please give a big round of applause for Vincent Helstia. This, this sort of reminds me of my past life. He's like, yes, bow down to me, hoes. No, I'm not a king anymore. Hell, I haven't even gone through puberty yet. I snuck alcohol and was no one was looking. Wow. My man is drinking alcohol right now? So she's a conjurer. And the fact that I couldn't sense her mana means she is either carrying an artifact to hide it or she's at a high level high enough where I can't sense it. And I think she knows who this is. I think she, she, she has a feeling that he's like, not just a regular kid. Yeah. I never really thought about it before, but it's interesting how I don't feel any attraction to the queen or any or any older woman for that matter, even though they're in the same age range I was before I died. It might be because they're my mother's age, but it's not like I find younger girls attractive either. Whatever, it's not like I have any plans on dating anytime soon. I'll think about it when I'm older. That is a good way to look at it. A sword is up for auction right now. Tell me if you want it so I can put it in my bid. And don't worry about the price, perks of being the owner of this place. This short sword was forged by a master smith who was also a fire artificer. Wow. Imbued above the handle is the core of a mighty Thunderhawk. A fire sword with the Thunderhawk. I think he needs that. Reinforcing this masterful sword with just a bit of mana will, will reproduce current of electric electricity around the edge of its blade. Yeah, I think he needs it, son. Enhancing its cutting power and even ex ex executing a paralyzing effect. The bidding will start The bidding will start at 50 gold. 51, 52, 53. A modest house in Zyrus could have could fetch at least a single gold coin, but an average family back in my hometown of Ashburg could live just fine on a handful of copper coins a day. Damn, son. Just the opening bid for this sword could provide a modest living for a family for over 250 years. Oh my god. So is it to your liking? I know it's a little big now, but a sword with an elemental ability is hard to come by. It sounds like a powerful weapon, but... Not something I need. I'd prefer something a little less unique. Yeah, I thought so. Aw, oh, man. I got hype, I thought he was gonna get the lightning sword. Anyway, this is just the beginning, and even if you don't find anything you like, I managed to find all the other items you wanted. Oh, you even managed to find a voice altering mask? Who do you think I am? Even the code I got you is made from a nightmare is made from a nightmare fox. It has the ability to obscure your presence from un unsuspecting eyes. It seemed like something you could you would want, so I snatched it while I could. My man is clutch! Yo, Vincent is clutch as hell, bro. That's more than I had hoped for. Just stay safe. I'm the one. I'm the one who have to deal with your family if anything happens to you. You know. Vincent was right. The sword was only the beginning. There are more weapons, even several, even several beast cores ranging from C class all the way to A class. The king himself bid on a few of them, winning an A class beast core. But it wouldn't be until a recipient actually absorbed the core that they would learn whether or not the core contained a beast well. Hmm, where did she wander off to? Do you know where Sylvie is? She was just here. Sylvie, where are you? You, oh shit, what the? Get the fuck away from my Pokemon, you crazy. Come here, little girl. Control yourself, Arthur. He's the royal family's court mage. Let's go, Sylvie. A countryside commoner has no place frolicking around with such a special beast. What? I'm saying that she will be mine. Oof. My man pulled the Killua and gave him the death stare, son. Say that again. A moment ago. It's a pity Arthur wasn't able to find anything he liked. From what I understand, he just wanted a good quality sword. Nothing fancy or innately powerful. If that's the case, I'm sure he'll be able to find something in our storage. Ah, your majesty, I hope you're having an enjoyable evening. I'm not sure how you managed to secure an A-class beast core from a silver coat beer, but I'm most pleased with my purchase of it. Let's just hope the beast will is still intact. I'm glad this humble event was worth the trouble for you, your majesty. The only thing humble here is you. This event is... Oh, God. This heavy, almost palpable bloodlust is not even directed at me yet. Vincent, your majesty, what is happening? Your majesty, please stay back. Don't worry about me, protect the children. Yo, oh shit, he's pulling the sword from his ring. Oh, my boy came in strapped, I see you king. Who dares to try and attack the royal family? Show yourself. Crap, I lost control of myself. 
Is that what happened? Is that really what happened? Yo. Is everything okay in here? The room has been searched where fine for now. Check the surrounding area. Upstairs. I'm sorry, father. <laughs> I'm bad, I wild out. My bad, my bad. Reporting your majesty. An intruder has been app apprehended by Captain Lewin just now. W wait, what? Just like that? Thank you, intruder. Your sacrifice was not in vain. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Oi, Sebastian. How could a royal guard fall on his, fall on his arsenal over a little intimidation from an intruder? Yeah, you're going to die early like this. That's crazy. I slipped, that's all. You know, you know what caused it. But you know what caused it, son. Thank you for your service, guards. Now let the show go on. We have here the final item for tonight's event. Tradition dictates that the best item be saved for last. And I am not one for belittling tradition. Who will be that? Who will be the lucky individual fortunate enough to acquire this treasure? Behold, an infant world lion. What? For those who are ignorant of this mag of magnificent mana beast, an adult world lion was has the capability of becoming a powerful B-class mana beast. I dare say that if well taken care of, this infant world lion could even become an A-class a beast. And you all know that what that means. Taking care and treasuring this fine mana beast will allow his master to become legendary beast tamer. The bid will start at 500 gold. God damn. 1,000. Oh shit. 1,000 gold coins for the king. I mean, how are you gonna beat the king? How are you gonna beat the king, son? It seems no one wants to bid against their own king. Congratulations in advance. One white gold tablet seems more than fair. Thank you for your consideration and generosity. What are your plans for the new royal pet? Will you be taming it yourself? As tempting as it is for me to have a bond, I'm thinking of giving it to... Curtis. Is he gonna be a character in the future? I hope so. Of course, that all depends on how he does. I'll do my best, father. Does that mean I won't have to hear your, your, you avoiding lessons from your mother? You said you wouldn't tell a father. Watching him like this, they almost feel like a normal family. He's like, this is like how I would be in my family if I was like not a king. The auction is about to end. Would you like me to gather the items and send them over to you? Nonsense, as if I have the patience to, to wait for the items, we'll go, we'll go down with you. Then if you follow me, please. Excuse me, your majesty. Enough, Sebastian, I understand. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Arthur, come here. Here's everything that you asked for, except for a sword. For that, I think it might be better for you to take a look around here and see if, see if you could find anything you like. I'll hold on to this while you look for, your, for a sword. Thanks, mom. Oh, are you planning on taking sword lessons? My boy just started learning as well. Maybe we can arrange for a friendly spar between you two one day. I don't think that's a good idea, bro. I don't think it's a good idea. Your majesty, Prince Curtis would only become infected with bad habits if he began sparring with mere commoners. I'm honored, but swords are merely a hobby for me, your majesty. I can never hope to reach your son's level. Ah, there you are, Vincent. Hurry on over, the king wants to meet you. My apologies for the intrusion, your majesty. At ease, I hear you. I heard you were the one who captured the intruder earlier. It seems that Vincent has gotten himself quite the capable hand. Yo, they're meeting royal, like a crazy amount of royalty right now. I'm not worthy of such praise. I was merely doing my duty. Reynolds Lewin, right? And that over there, and that over there is your son? Yes, your majesty. Is anything the matter? You see, Sebastian here has been a royal guard for many years and helping our family an, an, uncountable, an uncountable number of times. For the exemplary serv services he has provided me, and therefore my country, I do feel the need to reward him at times. And it seems that he has taken quite a liking to your son's bond. Giving a guard of the royal family your son's bond will be a service to your kingdom. What the fuck? Excuse me, your majesty. I, of course, I am more than happy to compensate you, compensate you for the bond. And hiring a mace to sever the contract between your son and the mana beast will, will be done at our expense. I, I must apologize, your majesty. Neither I nor my wife had anything to do with my son's bond. He acquired it himself, so I cannot speak on his behalf regarding this matter. True. Hmm. Yo. Boy, didn't your parents teach you how to lower your gaze when speaking to your superiors? Hello, child. I'm sure you just heard my conversation with your father, so I won't repeat myself. How about it? My royal armory would certainly have a sword befitting any aspiring young knight. Keep calm, Arthur. He's still, he's still the king of Sapin. Thank you, your majesty, for your gracious offer, but I must refuse. Even the most magnificent sword could never replace Sylvie. How dare- Sebastian! Then a trade, my world lion cub that I've just purchased for your bond. Father, I thought the mana beast was mine. So how about it? While your beast does indeed seem unique, reptilian beasts rarely grow to be as strong as true predatory mana beasts. They're really, really trying to steal this boy's pet. This is crazy. My apologies, your majesty, for failing to make myself clear. I do not wish to give, sell, or trade my bond. I have asked you twice, child, for a favor, twice. My patience runs thin. I will ask you kindly one last time. Will you give me your bond? Then please allow me to ask your majesty a question as well. How much would you be willing to sell your children for? Oh, shit. 
Yo, that's a question. You have asked me thrice and I've rejected all three times and it seems your pride won't allow you to accept my refusal. You don't seem to be aware of the gravity of what you are asking me, so I hope my questions will make it clear. My boy, this nigga is crazy. Art is wildin' right now. What kind of, yo, but he's asking the right questions. How much money would you would you require to in exchange for your son or daughter, King Glader? Everybody shook. Insolent peasant, you dare insult the king and his family? His concentration, he's concentrating all of his mana into his sword. Does he intend to cut me in half? Keep the flow of mana calm and even. Anticipate the enemy's movement and take control of the path of his strike. Wow. Dis disrupt the enemy's balance and... Explode using both your power and the enemy's own momentum against him. Oh! Shooketh indeed. That fool. He wasn't even able to kill a mit to kill a child. He wasted the perfect chance. Even if I'm punished, I'll I'll, I'll take mat I'll take matters into my own hands. What the king doesn't realize is that a bond capable of forming an equal an equals contract at such a, a young age means it'll eventually grow beyond A class. I must have it. What? what? It's no use. Spells that need ambient mana to fuel them won't work. Stay back! You think you're a match for a conjurer of the royal family? In this state, yes. What? Oh! Oh, shit! Arthur pulls the wardo! He said the wardo! Yo! Yo! He said, ho ho, I see you are approaching me. Oh my God! Ah, ah, my leg! Someone help me! Why is everyone just standing there? No one is going to hear you, so it's best that you listen while you're still able to. You can't do this. I'm the personal conjurer of the king himself. He's really crying, OD, OD. He's never had his leg broke. He's never really been hurt like this before. Exactly. No. Your place. It's Sylvia's power when she stopped time. Oh! 